testing mic went to. Yeah, why well, would it be disabled? <laughs> right. Um, I did switch it out. Yeah, I did switch it out to this. Wait one moment while I reconfigure my chat windows. Okay. Welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. We just finished another achievement. We reconquistered on very hard, and now it's time for another one. And I need some change of scenery after staying all this while in the bloody desert of North Africa. I sweated like a pig, and I was thinking, yeah, I want to visit a really cold nation now and get uh, really cool now. So uh, let's go for the cool achievement of Great Perm. Perm actually starts out as a vassal of Muscovy. They have a good starting ruler of like 645. Is it... And... Um, well, getting independence... Uh, getting independence from them won't be easy. Lebanski is saying, is it me or is his mic suddenly quieter? If uh, anybody else is saying, yeah, and if I look at my microphone volume, it's still the same, so... Uh, yeah, that's exactly my ID navel. Let's go for a really nice vacation. Permian ideas, well, are a bit crappy. Fort, Fort Defense ambition is, is nice, but... They got advisor cost, cavalry cost, national unrest, trade efficiency, land maneuver. Nothing too fancy military wise. Ha! <laughs> Kep is asking what happened to Granada. We finished Granada. <laughs> so if you wanna watch it, tough luck. Go into uh, YouTube or to the video section later on, but I finished it. Let's jump on in. Iron Man mode, and this is still very hard. And let it make it permanently perm, but. So I'm gonna roll with wherever I get. If I do, a, if I do achievements, I take what I get. I'm not gonna re-roll for the perfect diplomatic start or anything. Oh, and I really should stop this. So, this, let's see what our options are here. Muscovy. Well, they got a, a nice good list of uh, rivals. Great Horde. Yeah, they might support my independence. Kazan might also. But yeah, you are... But it's not because Great Horde and Kazan are rivals of each other that they won't support and fight with me together versus Muscovy. So let's get our bearings here. First of all, as you always should do if you start on a campaign, switch, your mili switch to military focus because reaching tech 4 before your neighbors is way important. Perm is actually quite weird. The current king is 18 years old, 645, and he's 18 years old, but his heir is 24. Is it his older brother then or something? How, how does this even work? An heir that is older than a king. Okay. But yeah, his look at these stats. Really? 655, 645? I didn't know they, they started with this much power, monarch-wise. Strength and government, yeah, we don't need to do any of this. Well, we make a staggering amount of two ducats a month. It's better than a uh, manipure, <laughs> so to speak. Trade, yeah, what do I even do with my traders? Collect here and uh, push there, I suppose. Yeah, uh, but I'm not even in range. Yeah, air is probably the uncle. Okay, I'll, I'll dig it. Missions. Convert Sheridan. Sheridan? To Orthodox. 
Yeah, sure. I can probably do that, right? Sure, then 45. Yeah, sure. So you start out as orthodox, but these guys are all tingry. I'm not even sure what the total development amount of perm is. 26, yeah, that's not that great. How many diplomats do we have? Two guys. Okay, let's check this. Kazan is hostile, so they won't support. Great hold, my dope. So let's uh, start improving. With the Great Horde. Novgorod, yeah, they're also. Uh, Lithuania might. But yeah, if Poland gets uh, the PU event over Lithuania, they will insta white peace if you uh, use them. But yeah, Poland might not get it. We will improve. We'll improve with these guys. Um, and before I forget it, it's always best if you do a, an independence war that you flag your entire overlord as vital interest. I'm not sure if it, it will interfere with uh, support, independence, blah blah. Who do you have? Who do you, is ODF an, a, a vassal? Muscovy also? ODF. No. Oh, they're independent. Okay. Still not used to ODF being on the map. Oh, this is Ryazan. Oh, I flagged Ryazan as final interests, I think. The horror. Yeah, they won't get it. Do I have a diplomatic reputation guy? No, I do not. Oh, I do have one. It's a plus two. Ah, uh, yeah. Before I forget, I gotta re-enable this one. When one of our units arrives at its destination, pop up and pause. Okay. Otherwise, fighting an independence war is a bit hard. So, yeah. <laughs> now what? I don't really know now what. <laughs> this is really as a, the same situation I was in when I was doing Yaros level. What is my loan amount? 13, yeah, gaining independence. I, I, I could do, uh... But if Kazan won't support my independence, then I cannot do a control bankruptcy because they will border me. Well... We'll see what happens. I really hope that, uh... Wait, what? Claim, claim on what? Um, oh, yeah. If you want to take Kazan on and feed me land, yeah, sure. Muscovy, make me stronger. There's no way in hell that I can... Uh, can I, no, I won't marry you. Wait, what? What did Novgorod do? Guaranteeing the independence. Oh yeah. Interesting nations, as we said as we said that. Austria, Kazan. Why Austria? Why Austria of all nations? Why would you be the most important nation to? Well. Poland, probably. Poland? Afgarad? Well, they'll likely get eaten. But I'll do them anyhow. Uh, who else? Uh, that'll do for now. 
Oh, did I click it away without saving it? Yeah, it gets saved. Never mind. Huh. Yeah. I'm at maximum manpower, so maybe I should be building something, something more. What is my force limit as a vessel? It's five. Yay! I did make two, right? Yep. Great Horde declared on Ryazan. No, you gotta support. Great. Just great. Anything else I need to do? All well, states. Well, now. Five ducats. Hey. I think I want to keep this. Development cost. Oh. Okay. Run. Uh, so I can ask for 100 military power. Why is this at 70%? Trolled profit. Okay, I gotta look at that. Gotta buy the states. So if I assign this 29, no, need to 30, uh, 29.5. Wow. Thirty nine point five, okay. Um. Yeah, but this is all so much. Worthless land. Okay, nobility. Can I get you to 80? To 75, I mean. Um, if I do this and then revoke it. Oh no, I'm already at 40 from... Uh, is there any way? Yeah, if I call the diet. Then ask for military support. 150. And then say, uh, cannot have it anymore. Oh, okay. Is it possible to milk the other ones? I don't know. If I hand this to the traders, the clergy, then it's 39.5. Uh, oh, why not? That gives him to 45. But then I uh, ask for these guys. That's 55. That's 70. Um, can I even get him to 75? Yes, I can if I revoke this one. Do, how much do they have? No, they already have 40%. Oh well. 70% okay then I could do the burgers later on yep saw this three monarch points for the win AI nations if if, an, uh, if somebody uh, claims the throne if you claim the, the throne of uh, anybody they will insta break alliance now what did it say exactly 11 of November Ah, la, la. This is like the the major advantage you have over AI nations. Asking 150 military power of the estates early on is so powerful. If you can reach tech, uh, if you can reach tech four because of it, really easy before your overlord, then my troops will be way better than him. That's basically how you gain independence easily. Oh. 
Uh, okay. I lied a bit over the F. Yeah, but he cannot grant me anything. I mean, I don't border this. So, uh, I should have done this ages ago, but I think I'll chill out. Oh, wait one moment. Wait one moment here. Where are the forts from Muscovy? Does he only have one fort? Really? Yeah, I don't want to see Novgorod coming and uh, killing me here. Yeah, in that case, I'll go there. Thank you very much. Huh, <laughs> still 30k to 5k. Yeah, that's odds that I'll take. I've won wards with odds 10 to 1. Go bankrupt right after, but <laughs> you get the idea. Okay, that's November. Oh, 11 November, okay. There we go. Bam! Nobody doesn't like it. But I don't care. You give me what I want. And when are these? 14th of April. Yeah, I could give the nobility a really worthless province, but yeah, this is all. Um. I should give this to the clergy, if anything. Yeah, to be able to convert faster. And one of these that are orthodox that I don't need to come. You can go. Uh, you can go. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Everybody happy. And I got my monarch. Po oh, yeah, damn it. No. I wanted to mill the other estates also. Damn, damn, double damn. Yeah, that won't work anymore. Yeah, I don't have a province to give to the burgers, so I cannot mullock the burgers. You can only give provinces that are uh, then development to the burgers. So don't tell me that Novgorod can somehow reach. Oh well. Yeah, they can reach this. Maybe it, is, it isn't such a good idea to. Uh... Wait one moment here, Ryazan. What are you doing here? I don't want you, Yaroslavl. Yeah, I'm gonna have to watch what they are doing. We need a Zagillion, yeah. Uh, about about that uh, support independence, L L Lithuania. Uh, no? Ah, uh, fantastic game. Yeah, Poland considered a greater power. Yeah, why would that be? I wonder. After you get entire Lithuania as a subject. And Poland, they won't support my independence because it'll say, You cannot, I cannot reach Muscovy. No. We cannot reach it. Oh, they changed that. Okay. They actually changed how support independence works. Wait, what? Poland is friendly to Muscovy, really? Really? Uh, come on! Poland friendly to Muscovy. Yeah, great game. So who can I even ask to support my independence? Nobody. Great Horde perhaps. That's about it. Well, I might try Kazan. Because why not? Of Gruart. Yeah. You will have a truce. So, uh... Yeah, but I would need, like, plus... I cannot reach it. There's no way. I would need to go above 100, and that's not possible. Yeah, that happens so rarely. Uh, but I rule with what I got. If Poland says, we are friendly to, uh... 
But if they do an alliance with Muscovy, then I'll think I restart. That condition, I don't want to go do an independence war versus Muscovy, Poland, and Lithuania. Uh, how about Denmark? How about you? Denmark cannot reach Muscovy. Okay. Why can Poland? Yeah, probably because they got the uh, personal union now. Okay, who really hates Muscovy? Everybody loves Muscovy except Novgorod. Didn't they start with more rivals last I looked? <laughs> yeah, it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. I mean, what? If uh, if Great Horde uh, wants to support me, then uh, then we might have a chance, but. <laughs> Uh, Livonian order, you won't support me, right? No. What do you mean you cannot reach Muscovy? Well, if Muscovy uh, takes everything and borders Sweden and yeah, Denmark actually, if Muscovy will take a province next to Sweden, then Denmark might support. That's a really big might. Denmark, are you? Ah. Uh, Oh, they did rival Muscovy. Okay. Okay. Denmark? In that case... Oh, yeah. Estates. Uh... Yeah, but I should give it all to the clergy, I guess. Clergy, 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 everybody. Yeah, they all like me, so I'll, I'll keep it this way. But did that, this doesn't need to be in the clergy, because, yeah. It's a 0% province. Oh, do I really need these guys? Oh. It helps on the conversions, mind you. Novgorod is bound to die. There has been a couple of patches where uh, Muscovy never went for uh, Novgorod at the start. Oh, 50% cheaper, huh? Prestige, huh? Oh, why not? I see no Novgor Novgorodian. Oh yeah, Randomac, you're right. I'm not even getting the... Uh... You're right. I'm not even getting the... Uh... the clergy guys. Well, it's 60%, you're right. I always assumed you get the bonus no matter what, but that's correct. Right. You get it if, if they have 60 loyalty. Oh well. Shouldn't have revoked that province then. Could make an uh, 47. Might be worth to give it back to the 59.25. Damn it, just about no cigar. There's nothing else I can do to get. Nah, oh well. Well. All of us. Still though, let's take a look at the nut. Oh, Denmark is gunning down Novgorod also now. Yeah, so they will touch. They will touch. 
Let's look at the nice snow and the weather effects from the mods. Now you can actually see the lakes and the rivers freeze on over, that's funny. I wonder, do, do the inland sea here get frozen now? No, it doesn't. You will see this land in the south go, uh, see? Snow is melting. Snow is melting away. There we go. Bye snow. Even the forests go green again. There we go. Only perm is... Uh, oh! Yep, all the snow gone. Oh, does this province keep the eternal snow then? No. In June it... Uh, There we go. That's the mission done. Improve our prestige is the only mission we can take. Really? Gonna wait with it then. Crimea broke their alliance. Oh yeah. How about those diplomats? Yeah, they're close. Dominance of the... Yeah, uh, time to piss off the uh, RG, I guess. What? Still? How is that possible? You don't own any provinces. Controlled provinces 40%. How is that even? Huh, I did the wrong one, didn't I? 85, how much would this cost me? Well, I have to. Yeah, but it would trigger a stack, that's not good. I'll keep you, I'll keep you then. Wait until you're 40, oh, he's 40 already. Okay. There we go. How much does it even cost me to get? Oh, it's close. It's close. So, Great Horde, I know, are you still at war? Didn't check it. I set you as a vital interest. Oh. How about that support in the... Uh, not in a million years, because the Great Horde ruler is cool. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on, game. Does he start out as cool? Yeah, then it would be 53 versus 63. Okay, so the Great Horde won't support my independence either. Not with this ruler. Gula is asking... States give missionaries thing. Yeah, if you... Uh, you can see it here. If you get the... Uh, where do you see it? Here you see it. If loyalty is above 60%, you get this and that with the burgers. If loyalty is above 60%, you get uh, this and that. Oh no. Don't see it then. Where well, can you see it at 2%? Oh well. If they are above 60% loyalty, any province you assign to the clergy estate will get plus 2. Plus 2 missionary strength. Yeah, but who do I even ask to support my dip? Well, Denmark, Mike. Denmark might, and if uh, Muscovy eats up to Livonian order, friendly attitude towards Muscovy. Why does everybody love Muscovy so much? Oh well. Who can I even ask? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, for
Who can even reach Muscovy? Livonian Order, but they are, uh... That's a vassal of Muscovy. Anybody else that I'm overlooking? No. <laughs> Novgorod, yeah, but they will have a truce. No guy cannot reach him either. You know, it looks like Denmark is our only uh, chance. But they will likely have a thousand reasons against allying, uh, allying me. Still though, Denmark rivaled Muscovy, so it might work. But in that case, Sweden may not declare independence. As long as they are at war with Novgorod, they won't do it. Because uh, personal union guys have minus 50 to declare war if they are at war. If, uh, minus 50 to declaring independence, I mean. What? War of the Roses already? Oh, great. William the Third of Lancaster. Okay. So, Denmark, is there any chance, any chance whatsoever? Yeah, if they touch. It's getting close. 41 to 53. Well... Can I set them as friendly? And what if... Can I set my overlord as, as threatened by my overlord? I can. What kind of silly stuff is this? As a vassal, you can set your own overlord as, as being threatened by your overlord, okay. I don't think Denmark will get the bonus. Actually, I wonder if... Nah. Yeah, they get it. Perm is threatened by Muscovy. <laughs> How can I be threatened if I'm his vassal? Seriously, game. This is bug hunting that I do. And it actually works. It actually works. Yeah, that's funny. I'm a vassal and I get plus 24 in alliance while being a vassal because Perm is threatened by Muscovy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna note that. That's a bug. How can a vassal be threatened by his overlord and then get plus 20? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I'm threatened to be integrated. <laughs> I'm threatened to be integrated. Ah, uh, seriously, game. Yeah, but if I'm threatened, then I can get it with all the rivals of. Uh, then I can get it with the Greater Horde also. So am I? Am I very threatened now? Yeah, Perm is threatened by. Wait, what? Perm is threatened by Kazan. Okay, maybe it's not a bug then. It's okay. I I'll set myself as, as threatened by you, because why not? I did set Denmark as friendly, right? I'm not even sure if that has any influence on the AI. Probably not. Great Horde, no! Well, if your ruler dies, how old is he? 34. Does anybody know if the Great Horde always starts? Do our ruler traits from starting rulers vary at the start or are we always the same? If the Great Horde will always spawn with this cool guy, then I can never ask support independence from him. I did get independence versus Muscovy with the help of the Great Horde before, but that was before ruler traits. Do the rulers always spawn with the same traits in the 4044 start? I don't know. Never bothered to check, really. But I should be using my diplomat for something. Oh. Great Horde, no guy. Poland. Polish attitude towards Muscovy friendly. That's not good. That's the opposite of good. I don't want Poland allying Muscovy. That's, that's, that's simply... No! 
never even seen this happen, but nobody except Denmark really hates Muscovy. Fixed start rules are fixed stats and traits. Okay. So I gotta wait until the Great Horde dies. Oh well. I'll take the pike square. Maybe that will make me look really powerful. Bet not. Maybe I should start developing something, something. Do I have actually any province that is worth? What are my trade goods, really? Oh, salt! Oh, I like salt. I like salt. But this is all woods, 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 forest. Is forest worse than, than woods? Forest is plus 20%. And woods is what? Woods is 15%. Oh, but this is Arctic. What? This isn't Arctic then? No. Okay, uh, there's a there's a graphic mode for this. Uh, to check what, what is uh, what? Arctic, 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 Arctic. Okay, so I can only develop this one or that one. This is temperate climate, this is also temperate climate. Okay. So I can develop for fur and for fur. <laughs> for fur and for fur. Okay. Oh. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. As a vassal nation, it costs more. Okay. I don't think developing will give me more force limit. Not in a million years. I tried it out, but Manipur didn't do shit. So, Denmark, tell me. I know you're still at war, but how's it hanging, buddy? 4154. They go friendly towards... well... They won't go friendly towards me, I think. Oh, wait a oh, come on. Because they are Catholic. I'm not even sure how much does diplomatic reputation involve... It. Does uh, diplomatic reputation plus four. Okay, and how much do I have? Plus one. So each diplomatic reputation is four more reasons to support my independence. Yeah, I'm not gonna get this. Rivalry attitude, okay. Danish opinion about Muscovy, plus seven. Okay, so if the Danes piss. Well, wait one moment. If Muscovy will desire land from Sweden and vice versa after they touch. Then the Danish opinion about Muscovy might drop. If he resuffles re vital interest, yeah, this might still be possible. We'll see. But what do I even use? Well, I could start fabricating. Because, yeah. I need claims on Muscovy. And why not claims on uh, Kazan? Because why not? Vassal can make claims on other nations, right? Yeah, of course they can. Never mind. So, let's go and chill in our Arctic country. Yeah, because the desert from uh, North Africa, yeah, it's still way too close. So, let's go to our Arctic capital. Marry Denmark? No, I cannot marry anybody as a vassal. Oh, they have full annexation, okay. Oh, I cannot marry them. I think it, pretty sure I can only marry them after I go independent. Yeah. Oh, I can? Huh. The Danish ruler is infertile. Yeah, great. Great game. 
I logged into the game to check and the Golden Hold ruler is Zalat and an Eve Enthusiast. And That's weird. Zalat and an Eve Enthusiast. Then why is... Did his ruler die already then? Maybe. He's cool and uh, architectural. Does he start with Kachuk Mohammed Genga? Well, whatever. I'm not even sure. Uh, what are you waiting for, Muscovy? Is somebody else in the war still? Novgorod? Why don't you? Ha why do you only have forty-nine percent? Oh, Denmark! Denmark is sieging the capital of Novgorod and stole it away from the Russians. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, if Denmark now says, yeah, Sweden can have all this. Neva. So if Novgorod, if the Danes peace out and take Neva, pretty sure uh, Muscovy will... Uh, Maybe just the trades are randomized. Pretty sure somebody said in the chat a couple of minutes ago that the, tr the, the ruler trades are not random for the starting rulers. Ah, oh, nice picture for the Renaissance in Eastern Nations. Okay. Tengri Zalats will likely not spawn before. Okay, never. They did as I predicted it. Denmark now touches... Uh, no so if Muscovy now continues the war and takes Novgorod... Wait, what? Denmark is scoring this for themselves? That's good news. Yeah. Tell me about it, Denmark. Yeah, now they are a greater power. What about that uh, support independence? Yeah, 54? No, oh, if Muscovy now says uh, let's kill Novgorod off and full annex them. I'm not even sure how big uh, Novgorod is at the start now. Yeah, they cannot full annex them, but still. If they take like all this, knowing my luck, Muscovy will ask for all this and not touch Sweden or Denmark, knowing my luck. Oh, lots of... Oh, so some rule... Randomack is saying some rulers are fixed historical rulers, I bet. And some rulers from random nations are not fixed. Okay. Or was it even possible to get Great Horde? Minus 30... Then it would be 54 to 64. Yeah, it would have been possible. It would have been possible. Oh well. Not gonna restart. As long as there's a fraction of a chance of me winning. Please, Muscovy, give your vassal a break and touch Denmark. Pretty please. No, don't peace out. Don't be sad before you take his capital, please not. Don't do it. Ah, uh, Muscovy, yeah. Why do I even claim from Muscovy this one? And then core? Oh! I got a core in Kazan? Okay. Didn't know that. Oh yeah, Perm. <laughs> Obviously, the province of Perm is of course part of the big nation of Greater Perm. How can I be so silly? Oh. 36, he might die. Hope. Please don't peace out. Knowing the AI, they will peace out at 71% on their capital. Ottomans announced Poland as their rival. Okay. 
35. Don't peace out now, Muscovy, or I'll tickle you to death. And please, for the love of God, AI, take a take a province next to Denmark, please. I'm surprised they didn't give it to Sweden. It was their claim. Why didn't you give it to Sweden? Oh well. I've all, I've never seen Denmark take land over here. Denmark declaring on Novgorod early on. Normally, Novgorod supports the, the, the independence of Sweden, and you would see Novgorod and Sweden allied, but. No, the game says. This is very hard. Let's randomize and throw some fair shit at you. Uh, Poland is friendly to Muscovy. You are still friendly, right? Yeah. Still friendly. What a disgrace. Poland, huh? Oh, the Muscovite attitude towards Poland is neutral. Okay. Might not ally. Yeah, start. Well, how much? How is the name? Oh, maybe I should get my first idea. Starting rulers from Perm and the starting air is like so good. I'm rolling a mark point here. Muscovy is still at Tech 3, which is hilarious. Because I'm close to be uh, getting Tech 6. Well, uh, Tech 5, Tech 5, I mean. There we go. Dear God. <laughs> they took Muscovy. They took Novgorod. That's good news. Okay, so Denmark can now reach. And uh, what about... Yeah, and they desire the Muscovite land. Okay. Muscovy, how about you? What do you desire? Yeah, they desire Neva. This is a militarist. And this is a balanced guy. Um, yeah, I gotta look at the Vital Olympus from... Yeah, so what about that support independence now, Denmark? Well... Maybe I need a Danish opinion about Muscovy. Went from 7 to 12, I think. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna give it a tick of the month and then see. Muscovy is now a greater power. Yeah, great. That's. Nope. Nope. No. 48.55 Yeah, it's, it just went from 12 to 40 If I now take uh, Diplomatic Blah Blah Advisor, it's, it'll be 52 to 55 Ah, I think it's time to puff out my shit. What exactly... Let's study this a little bit better Well, attitude Is there anything I can do is make him like me? I don't want to gift him. Um, I know that ask access cannot do anything. Cannot marry him. So yeah, gotta do something about army strength then. Minus 17, so if I puff out my chest really big and go lone heavy, he might support my independence. And I must do it be before Muscovy builds like a giant army. Yep, I gotta, I gotta try this. So, diplomatic reputation guy will cost me an arm and a leg. So maybe it's more prudent to uh, get like, I don't know. 10 guys and see, I can produce 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. Wait, what? Great Horde, seriously, what are you getting yourself into?
Oh, Muscovy has announced Poland as their new rival. That's just swell game. So Poland, how about that support independence? Friendly attitude towards Muscovy, why do I think... Well... I'm gonna improve with you. Okay. Muscovy is saying, yeah, we don't care about you liking us, Poland. You are a rotten fish, you are a rival now. And don't make funny faces at me, or I'll invade you. Do they desire Lithuanian land? Yes, they do. It's the militarists. It's the militarists. Our manpower reserves need to recover. Yeah, Tom. This will cost me an arm and a leg to do. But I need to try this. So, Poland, will you uh, maybe change your mind about Change your mind about your friendliness towards Polish attitude towards Muscovy is hostile. Perfect. Just perfect. Oh, I'm looking at my own damn overlord here. So <laughs> Yeah, well. 65. If they rival them, then it'd be 50 against 65. I cannot wait until Poland rivals. They already got three. And it's... Yeah, I don't know. They might ditch Hungary for Muscovy. Who knows? Well, 10.1. How, how much did that change you? 48 to 52. Yeah, okay. Wait one moment, ladies and gentlemen. If I now loan up for the diplomatic reputation guy, I think we got enough then. How much was this guy? Um, wrong guy. 56. <sighs> this is costing me... Oh, well, once I go independent, once the war starts, my income will skyrocket. Now I am improving the late, but I think uh, Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. I gotta try this before Denmark gets in a war, an independence war from Sweden. Oh. Well, Oh, Sweden's liberty desire is really low. When did they change this? Sweden used to start with like sky high. I don't think Poland is really uh, an option here. 65. I cannot overcome 65. If I can barely do it with, uh, with Denmark, then I won't be able to. Polish opinion about perm might change, but... If I declare with Denmark, Sweden and Norway versus Muscovy, I should do it before Muscovy gets uh, really big allies. I don't know. I don't know. Should I wait for Poland or not? Something tells me that uh, Muscovy will go into another war versus Kazan or Great Horde or anybody and then I get minus 50. You would assume if Muscovy just comes out of a war. Okay, let's check this. Let's do some number crunching. Muscovy has uh, 42,000 troops. Yeah, sure. Denmark. Denmark has uh, 31. Sweden has uh, 22. Norway. The odds look good. Norway. Another uh, 8,000. And Livonian Order is the ally from... Uh, well... They are still at Tech 3. Everybody is at Tech 3. 
Uh, I cannot sustain this 10k for much longer, so I'll do it. I'll do it. So how about support independence now? Yeah, they'll do it. 53 to... Yes! And I... I can wait on this. So don't go into a war now, Denmark. Don't... Do it! Yes! Denmark accepted our offer to enter into a treaty. Blah, 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 blah. And what is my liberty desire now, I wonder? Can I check my own liberty desire? But yeah, a player can always declare independence, but... Oh yeah, I forgot. So if I do it now... Huh, Livonian order. What allies do you have? Riga? Yeah, Teutonic Order. Next to Liberty Desire. Okay. So I'm rebellious. Okay, I'm rebellious. Something tells me I should ask the nobility for a nice general now. So are in Jesus. Uh, please give me like uh, six shock general, please. Alvla. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Vilasav, Vilesav, however you pronounce it. <sighs> At least it has siege. <laughs> one, three, one. I've had better. At least he has siege. I will try and avoid fighting, but yeah. Huh. Only an order. If Denmark gets into some war, some something something war, then ha! <laughs> Any reason why I shouldn't do it right now? Yeah, I'm gonna take a short water break. I think I'll just do it. <laughs> or do I wait for Poland? Oh man, I don't think. I don't know. What is Chat thinking? Should I wait for Poland or not? I'll be right back. Don't know. I mean, Denmark won't break the support. Denmark won't break the support, I think, if I lose the diplomatic guy. If I lose the reputation, I mean. Is there some way to check that? No. I can end it. Can a once the nation supports independence, can they end it? Can the can an AI say, yeah, we won't support your independence anymore? I can end it, but I'm pretty. I'm thinking that 
If you accept uh, support independence, you cannot cancel it as a nation, right? So the AI shouldn't be able to cancel it either. In that case... 2065... Uh, they ch you can declare the independence while while not your overlord is at war, right? Right? Yeah, maybe I should wait a little. Maybe I should wait a little. I'll improve relations with you. Oh no, I need a spy network, really. Not this. If Muscovy, this is dangerous, Muscovy might get other allies now. But they are diplomatically isolated. They allied you and you. Yeah, they are allied with Denmark, so they won't ally Muscovy. Who can Muscovy even ally? Not Nor Novgorod, obviously. Not the sunny nation. Yeah, I don't think they can, they can get... Well, maybe Ryazan. Oh, Ryazan is a vassal of the Great Horde now. You, yeah, forget about you. Huh. If I can make Denmark say, this looks a lot. Yeah, the Polish opinion about Perm. Uh, oh well, I'll risk it. I'll wait. Then I'm that means I gotta kill some troops. And I, I don't know. Muscovy, what is your force limit? Yeah, he can snap his fingers and get like seven more. I think it would be safer to wait for uh Muska for Poland. That means I kill like all my manpower. But yeah, what what good will do uh, 6k versus Muscovy? It is 6 that I got, right? 5, okay. I got my support, so I don't think Denmark can stop it. I don't need your bloody cavalry. I don't think Denmark can do it by itself. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking also, so I should, I should wait, really. There we go. And then I uh, start on the start covered operations in. Uh... I'm pretty sure Denmark cannot stop the support of dependence before Muscovy wins the war versus Denmark, or vice versa. And they are allied to the Teutonic Order, so yeah, Muscovy won't gun down Sweden. I'll see what's what. I can wait a couple of more years. When can, uh, when can Muscovy start integrating me, I wonder? Do I get a pop-up if they integrate me? Yeah, they, they aren't integrating me, but I'm pretty sure I'll get a pop-up if they start integrating. Hi there, Yuzbek. Yeah, random that, but I don't think Muscovy will uh, declare on uh, Denmark now. It's worth waiting, I think. He says it's worth it, but I don't know. 20 to 66. I don't think I can sway Poland to support. If... I need Poland to rival uh, Muscovy first. That won't happen. But if anything... Ooh, 
a new con in the Great Horde. Fantastic. And he's a fierce negotiator, so how about 53 to 73? Well, now. Well, now. Yeah, I saw this spy network for level 2 forts won't do that much. So, Mr. Khan and Great Order, how about. Come, friends. They cannot start integration until 1540. Oh, okay, so it's 10 years after the start date, okay. I'll buy it. Yeah, Poland. Poland won't change their rivals, I bet. Not in a million years. I would be so lucky if uh, if they do, but I don't think they will. A player can be integrated, Darkness. Rest assured, you can be integrated, and then it's game over. Oh, I'm a careful ruler now. Ah, oh, fantastic. If I annex Muscovy, so to speak, I'll get plus, uh... Oh... 54 to 69. Who knows? Ah, oh, who knows indeed. Still hostile. Yeah, Darkness, you really, <laughs> you can't get integrated as a player. <laughs> and you will see them starting it pretty soon, I bet. If you go 11 November, uh, 11 November of uh, 1454, you, they will probably start integrating me. So, do, do I get the bonus? Perm and Great Horden consider the same four provinces to be of vital interest. Okay. That means uh, if I cancel all the provinces on your border, that increases the chance of you supporting me? No. Of course not. <laughs> he can start the integration while I'm rebellious, I think. But he, it won't progress. Oh, I'm not sure about that. But you can start integration on rebellious subjects. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, bye. Uh, Burgundy, first they inherit everything and then it gets divided. Oh, Austria got a little bit bigger. France has announced Denmark as their rival. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. I don't like. Uh, okay. Why is that? Who are you allied to? Oh, Muscovy is declaring on the Great Horde. Muscovy is declaring on the Great Horde, and this will drag in Uzbek. Okay. Okay. Can I still... So Poland, what about that support? Yeah, it would be close if they rival. Uh, if they rival 
Muscovy, it would be 50 to 52. Yeah, this... Oh, Liberty Desire has changed by 10%. Wait, what? <laughs> Don't tell me I missed my chance. Do I really need 50% to declare independence? Ah, oh, man, I missed my chance! I missed my chance. I didn't know that. Ah, uh, really? Now I need somebody else to support, otherwise... Ah, oh, come on, I should have declared the war when I had 32. Seriously? Cannot even declare the war now. You son of a gun AI. Oh, well. Son of a gun. And he can start integrating me now. Yeah, I, I don't know how developing uh, all vessels relative power. If I puff out my chest again, trust, reputation, 26 development plus 6.5. So each, each development would give me like Point three, yeah, this won't work. Get troops, well. Oh, wait one moment. Could I ally other vessels? I think not. They are no, they are not. Uh, they aren't disloyal. Nobody is likely disloyal. Oh man, I missed my chance. God damn it. I really hope Great Hall wins versus Muscovy. At least they are weakening them. Yeah, forget about that. Yeah, I know. I was checking that Sterila, but they aren't number the enemy like two to one. Oh, oh, oh! Wait one moment. Wait one moment here. If they occupy me, will my liberty desire go up? Yes, yes, it will. So, uh, one for the hills, folks. Luckily, that I saw them coming. <laughs> They, how in the world did they go, wait, what, how did they, oh, they were at war with, uh, okay, yeah, it's spiking up, all right, so please occupy me, oh, it lowers, yeah, what is it, game, higher or lower? First it goes lower, then it goes higher. What is this? Ah, oh, Patriarch Authority is really nice. Missionary Strength. This gives me like what? Local unrest, local manpower. Oh, well. Oh, I really care. I don't. Yeah, they won't win in a million years. Now oh, they got tech 4 and the horde doesn't. Yes. Might have uh, missed my chance here. I don't know if I should try. Uh, Ah. Uh, 
God damn it, I should have done it when I had the chance. I should have done it when I had the chance. And it was my gut feeling to do so. And once this war is over, it's... Oh. Relative power to Muscovy. I'm not even sure how this works. If I get a load of troops... Well, it's worth a try. If I don't do anything now... He'll simply placate, placate, placate. Yeah. Yeah. But they are... Uh, occupying me. Um... I don't know. Yeah, well, it does help. What do you know? Because this was tempered also, right? Um, I mean, yeah, this one is the and this one also. Oh, I don't control it. Oh. Yeah, but it's not a lot. Still though, why did it change so much? 43... This might still work. I make some troops now. 45. Now this is risky, making troops with enemy near. Huh. Still though. Put a shot. No! You son of a gun! <laughs> the AI is trolling me like there's no tomorrow here. The moment I say, yeah, let's develop, he says, yeah, I'll placate you. Seriously, AI, come on. How many more times can you placate? Yeah, that's about it. This AI, come on! <laughs> I was so close there! So close! I shouldn't have taken that. But maybe I should have, shouldn't have taken Tact 5. Ah, oh, man. <sighs> oh, if they occupy me now... Maybe I should make a spine and work in you just why not? Poland, yeah. As long as they don't switch our rivals, uh this won't work. I'm not even sure. Am I getting higher or lower liberty desire if they occupy me? Ah, it's 39 again. Um. Forty. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure what to do here now. He cannot placate me anymore. Not until the end of the war. But I don't think I can develop enough. Where's my army? 
Oh no. If I can unseat this province. Already won. No, it was that Poland in a war. No. Poland for the love of God. Please. Flag Muscovy as a rival. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait one moment. These guys I don't like. Sheridan. This is where. Yeah, I'm already movement locked. Forty-two. What? The old king of <laughs> pure mechanic at work. Yeah, well, if if right, if the Great Horde manages to siege this before they siege this, then this war might actually drag on. Brunswick. Okay. Who inherited what? Saxony versus Bavaria. Yeah, that's Saxony. That's Bavaria now. So if I. Start developing this one. Oh, but maybe I should. Uh, how close am I for the Renaissance? Yeah, I should do it over here. But it'll cost me more. This is like 82, and what is this now? Cannot even see it because it's under siege. Yeah, great game. Oh, no, it's not. This is 115, yeah. I should try and spawn the Renaissance here. So close. Yeah, well. Renaissance won't do me any good if I'm uh, being integrated. So should I do it cheaper here? Huh. Still think I gotta do it here. If I flip my capital here, it would be even cheaper. How much does capital bonus give again? And that, Ar that Arctic penalty is killing me. I'm not sure. I don't think this will work, honestly. Not with me making a ton of troops. Maybe I should make, I can make two more now. Ha, <laughs> cannot even afford it. Well, I can if I lower my army maintenance like man, but that's, uh... Ah, no. No, they cannot placate me anymore. They cannot placate me anymore because they are at, uh... They are at minus prestige. You can only placate an up to a uh, zero prestige. So it's possible if I get like uh, how much do uh, how much does a troop cost me? Ten point seven. If I can get another one, oh, they abandoned the fort here. Wait, what? Did they get the fort? Oh... 49! 49! Um... Let's take this a little bit slower. 49! Yeah, that's risky. 49. Oh, I should have declared it when I had the chance, really. Now it's 50, but yeah, Poland, forget about it. I think I will have one chance at this, and that is now. 
I have one chance for this. And it is now. Devonian order. Well. <laughs> Are they still only a... a we got the Tonic Order in Muscovy. Okay, is anybody... Uh, if I declare independence, will I still be at war with these guys? Great Horde and all? I think not. Why would I be? So will I insta peace white, white peace with all the other guys? If not, then this might be a really short-lived independence war. So let... Um, just to be sure, uh, how can I reach Denmark the fastest? There's a fort over here, and will you give me access? Well, if I'm at war with uh, with his rival... Well, if they don't give me access, this might be a really short war, because I cannot go past this, probably. Yeah, it so looks like now or never... Well, Muscovy is busy. If they make peace now and gain a load of prestige, they, yeah, it's now or never. It's not this. And I'm tech 5, so... Well, here goes nothing. Let the micromanaging begin. Okay, what is... Wait, what? Okay. But it's still occupied by the Great Horde. How does this even work? <laughs> so I declared independence. I'm not at war with the Great Horde anymore. Ah, uh, no, I'm only at war with Muscovy. So let's take a look at the troop numbers here. Yeah, this looks doable. Muscovy is bled out. Muscovy is bled out. They got zero manpower, 31,000 troops, yeah, this is, uh, this is possible now. Wasn't I building more troops? I should wait for those guys. So what is my force limit now? Now it's 10. Oh, man. Do I risk... Oh yeah, I forgot one thing. One very important thing. No, that's not it. Oh! Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! I shouldn't have... Ah! They can get war contribution now. If you flag your overlord... Well, oh well. Anything else? Ah, damn, double damn. Denmark will expect me to give him this. Oh well. I should have flagged it before I declared the war, but... So let's see what's possible here. Can I? No. Can I? No. Can I reach that? No. Can I? Hey, what? What hostile fort? Oh, this hostile fort is blocking Beluzeru. Okay. Oh man, I should have... I should have uh, improved relations with you. Because you won't give me a military access. Ah, uh, great. Just great. I could actually uh, attach to the great, great horde here. But yeah, if they are tech 3. Oh, they took tech 4 now. Okay. So how much war score? 55. Yeah, they will peace out. Yeah, I don't know, Iyawi. I don't know, Birdman. I, I, I usually do this in an independence war. Flag it every every terrain has vital interest, and then they will expect me something. 
they I don't have to give Denmark anything but they might want me releasing nations instead of taking land yeah Strula is saying what I mean oh yeah I forgot about you <laughs> Yeah, now, now the, the game realizes, wait, what? Wait, what? And the occupation vanished. Okay, now I gotta... What do I even do now? I cannot reach the Muscova. I cannot reach the, the Sweden and the Danes. Oh... Well, is there ever... Oh, now they do give it to me. Okay. Fantastic. So, uh, one points. Yeah, I'll get the seven K guys and then I'll uh, make my move. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't see Muscovy anymore. I shouldn't stay put here. I shouldn't stay put here. And, uh, Denmark, you're, you're a really good lad. Let's make babies. Okay. Okay, Birdman, I'll believe you. Maybe they changed it. I bug reported it long ago, but... May... If you say so. 24th of April, yeah, but I should... Go there. This is dangerous. I don't see where, uh... This is wasteland. I should have moved out from... On the double. If Muscovy now come and attacks me here or there with like 20k troops. Oh. I got a siege pit, mind you. So if I can occupy this in my name. Oh. Ryzen will see Tulla and Ryzen to Muscovy. Okay. Goodbye, Ryzen. <laughs> now it's a bit too late, is it? To ask support. Well, I could max out the relations, I guess. And build a spy network. Because why not? This tells me that Muscovy will all their attention. So I should move out on the freaking double. At least I got three maneuver. So I could do something like, yeah, there, here, I don't know, hide out somewhere. If Muscovy is now here, I'm screwed. But it should be down south. Should be, he says. I don't see any Muscovites, lucky me. And now Denmark can bypass this fort and spill into this nation also. Oh, they won a battle already? Yeah, that's versus Muscovy. Ah, that's versus the Livonian Order. So, Denmark, do you like the Livonian Order? Do you desire the land? Not like... Yeah, I could give them this. It will cost me more. I don't want to. Hey, what? Aristocratic coup. Luckily that I see this now. Seriously? There you go. Bye, aristocrat. <laughs> Luckily that I, s I took my eye off this. Oh! Oh, Denmark is airless. <laughs> this is funny. Who is the biggest uh, royal marriage partner? Only me! Noble from the house von Welf. Is that my dynasty? No. Von Welf? Who in the nine hells is von Welf? Von Welf? Who is von Welf? Oh, same dynasty as the Paladin. 
Um, why? What nation is fun, Ralph? Oh, yeah, I can look up. I can look that up myself. Fun Ralph? Really? Who in the Nine Hells is von Wolf? I've never heard about a von Wolf dynasty. Von Hessen, von Tirol, von Wittelsberg, von Württemberg, but Wolf? Ah, here, Lüneburg. Why Lüneburg? You aren't royal married. Ah, uh, wait, what? <laughs> the PU mechanic specialist being, uh... At a loss for words, but why do they get an heir from a noble from? I'm blind here. iPhone off. Might be a tooted but who knows? Said this. So hi there, Denmark. Okay, if you go there. Ah oh man, I should do this one province at a time. Try and make the Danes attached to me. Yeah, they are moving on it. Cargo Paul. So let's say I send one guy with oh. Do you have siege pips? Yes you do. Okay. And I can send one guy. Yeah, th this is why I wanted military access from Novgorod, so they can bypass the fort on Novgorod. Uh, yeah, well, okay, Novgorod province, I mean. So they are going to Kargopol, they are going to Neva. Neva? Oh, that's here. But I should be trying to see just to reach this one, so I'll go there, okay. Oh no! There's the Muscovites, and there goes my stack. Ah, oh, damn it. That's ten tackets down the toilet. Oh well. Where are you going? Shenkirks. Do you still have troops anywhere, Denmark, Sweden? If I revoke the axis from Novgorod, then Denmark, Sweden... Well, they have to stay here. They cannot go back, I mean. This might be worth a try. Orgopol on 16. Oh, the Swedes attached to me? Yeah, okay. I'll try it with the Danes. This is the Swedes. 6k, 5k. You move up. You can go along. And these guys might attach to me here. Might, he says. Hey, what? 30th of July, 10th of August. Where are you going there, Mark? No. No. Oh, Denmark. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need to occupy this before I can uh, make him listen to my commands. Which isn't good. Don't do it! Oh. He insists. Is that the entire Muscovite army? 27k, probably. No, it isn't. I should be more careful then.
Yeah, come on, Denmark. Seriously, could you s obey my goddamn? Come on here. He won't do it. Not until it's uh, it's occupied. Oh, there goes Sweden. Yeah, sure. Um. Yeah, you can wipe these guys out. Uh oh, but this isn't good. This is not good at all because I only got these guys attached to me. These guys, this this stack is going here, and they might engage me here. Nineteenth of August. Yeah. Oh, they did attach to me. Great, just great. Now they attach to me. Out of the freaking double. Okay. Twenty. Now we have twenty-six. So I I should move you up. In September? Uh, what Danes? Ah, <laughs> uh, game? What Danes will engage him on Yaroslav? Well, I don't know. Yeah, he's moving back in. So I should move these guys up. 20 t I'm gonna see what, what Muscovy does tomorrow. Cargo Paul, yeah, he's in throwing everything on the stack over there. Wait, what? Ah, okay. Uh, 7 of September, you say? Now I can reach it first. Send like uh, 25k guys over there. And uh, Sweden. Yeah, Sweden will have arrived here. Oh, well, now. He has tech 4. Denmark has tech 4. Sweden. Yeah, and I got tech 5. Denmark might re might kill those guys reinforce. Sweden might go here and come back. Yeah. Do I want this fight or not? Twenty five. He will flank me with his cavalry. Which I don't Well fully. Ninth of September. Oh Oh Denmark won't. If he gets movement locked, then Denmark. No, oh, he'll he'll stop then. So Denmark cannot reach Senkirks. So Denmark cannot go here before they attack here. Okay. I'm micromanaging for the win, but this is a major battle. If I. So yeah, Denmark arrives on the ninth. I arrive on the ninth. If they get movement locked, then it's uh, let's see. All the, not the sweets, but then it's 18k, 43, yeah. If they get movement locked, they are toast. Then they are toast, ladies and gentlemen. So what's the generals like? 231, what's his general? 220. Uh, what was my guy again? <laughs> One siege, if anything, I should be placed, oh. Oh, I didn't. I missed you, didn't I? And I was so focused. Seventh uh, of September. Yeah, I did go movement locked. Huh. Okay, that's uh, outmaneuvering the AI for you. Muscovy will reinforce. 
10 days or more after. This stack, yeah, they cannot interfere. That's a long walk. Should have paid more heed to these guys. So, uh, let's throw everybody in. Why not? That case, 13. I suppose. My manpower caps out again. So, 7 of it. This will be. This will be interesting. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, that's that guy. Oh, wait one moment. Can he enter? Oh yeah, but that's a long bloody walk from here to there. Still though, Sweden is gonna get out. Did they stop actually? Oh, Sweden stopped also. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy watching this. It'll depend heavily on the rolls, but we might slaughter Muscovy here. At 70, 57k versus 26, that's why I, my, why I maneuver at low speed. That's my doing, really, this, this battle. So, uh, I'm this guy. He's taking the, the terrain. We, well, if I get, can get a really good shock roll, 9 to 7. <laughs> yeah, great game. Give me another one. Two to three. Yeah, sure. It's five. Eight to one. Okay, this is too lucky. Yeah, bye, Muscovy. <laughs> what about... Oh, Livonian Order is going into Sweden. Yeah, perfect. You do that. Oh, another battle will start. Muscovy is also movement locked within two days. Yeah, I, I can. Uh, I don't even have that much troops here. Yeah, okay. Twelve. Come on in, you suckers. Old Painless is waiting. Oh, wait, what? Did the Danes go up? Yeah, now the Danes go up. Still, though. That should be an, an easy one. Um, you get reinforcements. Oh, well, that could have gone worse. Not worse. Oh, are these guys still attached to me? Yes, they are. So, give it one more month. Yaroslav. Could it be he's riding to Yaroslav? I sincerely doubt it. It's worth a shot though. Well, why not everybody? Well, maybe I should be uh, occupying stuff with whoever isn't that important. But I could do that with new troops from here. Yeah, okay. And this guy might be on the way to attach. So I'll leave you here and hope he attaches. When do you arrive? 25. Okay. No, he's not. He's not. He's going further south. Oh, did I do a spy network by accident in Greater Horde instead of... Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> I don't need a spy network in the Greater Horde. <laughs> I should be looking at who else is going to be my ally. I'm allied now to Perm. As long as I don't lose the vassal... Vassal... No, Independence War. So I cannot ally Poland... Because now I'm allied to his rival. Who else does put? France, uh, Scotland, Muscovy. Ok, 
Okay. Who are the allies of you? Hungary? Uh, might try Hungary. Uh, that'll be a, a hefty uh, distance between borders now. Nah, not in a million years. Core was at war. They designed my provinces. Yeah, well. Hey, I might do you. God knows he'll turn friendly if I uh, gain my independence. Who knows? That was my troop. Hey, don't do that. Ah, okay, you can go to Yaros level, but can you at least attach to me? Twenty-four, yeah. I can lead anybody on top of that. Everybody, I mean. If he is going, maybe I should move them over here. Doesn't matter. I need to reach Moskva here. His theory shuffled is a. Uh, theory shuffled. Fifteenth, no. AI. Please, that's to me. Oh, oh, and I should be, be paying more attention here. Arrows level. Oh. Okay. If you wanna... Come on, guys! Oh, hello, Muscovy! Uh, hello, Muscovy! Yaros level. Okay, Danes probably won't move out. Where are you going? Do you have a siege guy? Yes. Yeah, no, you don't. Where is my? Oh my god, I don't like the look of this. I don't like the look of this one bit. As long as he's moving into uh, Sweden, I'm happy. Yeah, that's what I expected. To be considering and uh, going for uh, Belozeru. Am I movement locked there? Yeah. Damn it, damn it, double damn it. Mind you, he has uh, low morale. And it won't go up. 22 of December. Ah, but these guys, I don't know how... 19th of December, yeah, well... Ah, he changed his mind. Phew! <laughs> you please go and waste time in, uh, in Sweden, Muscovy. Ah, what I'm doing now... No! Yeah, he might still... Can I escape in 25th? No. Um... 19... If, if he arrives here and then reinforces the battle, man, I, I might be too late here. The 3rd of January, you say? Nah. Oh, the travel times are so long here. 7th of January. No, 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 no. If he twitches... Oh, I don't like the look of this. He can go sandwich me here. I need 
want these guys to all attach to me. On the double. Seven. Come on. Don't even have a general here now. I should have stopped. Ninth of January, third of January, and if this guy now sandwiches me on this on the twenty-eighth, which he is not doing. If he gets movement locked before this stack gets involved, oh, Denmark is actually okay. In that case, I'll stay here. Um, yeah, because this stack can arrive here and still reinforce. Are they moving? Ah, damn it! Damn it! They arrived at twentieth, and if everybody is uh, having a part, yeah, they twitch. They see the danger. Yeah. Oh no, they did not twitch. Is he taking these guys into account? I wonder. I need you, Denmark. Uh, yeah, he twitched again. Phew. Phew. He's toast. That was risky of me. That was uh, too risky. Yeah, that's Denmark again. So, please touch to me for the love of God. Um, so what is actually possible here? Can I reach Moscow? No. I need to have Mo Novgorod. Novgorod! I don't want Muscovy locked, locked away of going into uh So please Muscovy, could you go and uh... Well... I don't like the look of this stack. This stack is battered. Nope. How about you move over there? 9th of February, yeah, if he wants to attack me, he can probably do so. Should have done it from the start, really. Oh, yeah. Now he's moving into he's moving into this province. So, oh, he's he might be going for this. Oh, did they attach to me? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. So in that case, you go there. That's good news. I was born in Vologda, really. Hi, Rockooks. No, don't go out. Ah, oh, come on, Denmark. What are you doing? No. You do it. Denmark. Mark. Really? Seriously? Hi. Why? Oh, you're engaging those guys. Okay. So you arrive on the on the sixteenth. Did you twitch there? No. You arrive on the fifteenth, so you arrive first. We'll you'll be the attacker. Yeah, in that case. He's going into cargo pole. So in that case I should be throwing everything in here. Third of March. <sighs> yeah, the battle will be over by then. But I need to make room for these guys. Yeah, so this this looks okay. Yeah, he's moving locked into Cargapol, which is good. Oh. Where did the Danes go? Ah, uh, Danes? What in the world? 
come on game, it said the Danes were movement locked into bl Seriously? What? Where did that Danish tag go? Oh man, come on. What? Oh, they cannot... Okay... Where in the hell did the Danes go? Ah, they are probably over here, right? They went from Yaroslav to Vologda instead of... AI, please. Yeah, this isn't good. Do I get... Oh, I got the terrain penalty here, but they got no leader. This is the careful guy. So the Danes are locked in to arrive when exactly? The 8th of March, and I'm going around. This might still work if we are able to defeat them now, but no. Oh well. If they throw everything in that fight, we might lose this. Because this tag will arrive when exactly? 31 of March. God damn it, stupid Danes. They sold me out. Well, is that worth reinforcing still? Well, 9 to 5. I don't know, man. I don't know. 6th of April. Ah, the Swedish guy should be able to fight, right? Well. Phew. 9 to 4. Well. Well. Well, no. Well, no. Well, no. This is gonna be close. Oof. <laughs> that is so... Well. 6th of April. 1st of April. Now you'll be the, be the attacker. Den Denmark, please, what were you thinking? I thought you were movement locked into Belusu. And then you, they said, nah, we're going to Vlogda. You made me lose that battle almost, you silly AI son of a gun. Now, come on in. Phew, that was lucky. Yeah, Norway. Hi, Norway. What have you been doing all this time? That's a wipe. Well... Danes are moving in again on Yaroslav. Uh, oh, that was my guy. 17 here. 13 there. I'll throw you in. And it's 22. I'll throw you in. These are both having stacks attached. I'll leave them be. Denmark, don't sell me out now and don't run out. They'll refuse to attach to me now. Stubborn Danes. Well, I've got attached to me. You'll survive longer if I lead you around, but oh well. Well, this is relatively safe now. How much? Yeah, I can. I can get more. How's the war enthusiasm? Well, it's high, of course. They are fighting their rival. Still, though. Well, Devonian order. How about you? Still high, well. 
If Livonian Order of Peace is out, I'll be a lot... If I see a battle marker here... Can I move you here? Or can I move you there? Or can I move you there? I could place the one here and one here. But they can flood on it. Not gonna risk it. Hi there, Jumbo. This is Great Permon very hard and we're doing the Independence War versus Muscovy with the help of Denmark. By the way, Denmark, if you die... Oh, now he got an air. Okay. Nobody big. Well, Hungary is airless. Surprised they didn't get the event yet. Did they? Well... No, no way. Stay there, goddammit. He's probably running away because of uh, seeing Livonian order approach. Wait, what? Was that Kazan guaranteeing me? Ha! <laughs> yeah, sure, Kazan, guarantee me. Kazan is indirectly protecting me now from attack. That's great. Yeah, you, yeah, you may, you may guarantee me. I don't think I will object to that. Oh, hi there, Muskvi. So how much more... Yeah, I think I'll uh, spawn the Renaissance here. Because why not? Well... Because I need that tech... Uh, 1470, well, is, is it really worth it? I don't know. 1468, so if every time I develop, it's like a... Well, nah, I don't think it's worth it. Hi there, Muscovy. Could you please go into Sweden and suicide yourself? Oh. <laughs> you, you'll see the same thing now. But now they won't engage me here in Beluzu. Forgive me for doing this on speed too, but yeah. First wars of a campaign are always the hardest. Oh! Wait, what? Is that two stacks attaching to me? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I got 30k guys that I could send over. Ah, but it's too risky to split up, really. Biscuits. I wanna, I wanna see Muscovy go into Sweden. This is 20 supply limit. This is 17, so I could move you here and let you stay here. Let's see what they do. Ah, oh, if you wanna play a stair game AI, <laughs> sure. Stair all you want. Yeah, I should be, uh... Well, that's risky. But this is like his entire army, I'm sure. Oh! You can reach this. How big is my perm? Well, not bigger than uh, than they start with, but I developed already quite a bit for the Renaissance. And also to get my 50%, well, I uh, don't see it anymore. 50%... Uh... Oh! This might be free, guys. Yeah! <laughs> I said it and I expected it for the estimated cost of because I'm fighting their rival and they say yeah you're doing a good job you're doing a real good job I'll help you out they are hostile to me oh not anymore okay I'll be damned ah sure Kazan occupy it all in my oh oh no Oh no. 
I'm pretty sure if I move this stack in here, yeah, they cannot go in there. This stack can go, yeah, stop this. I shouldn't have moved the bloody unit. I knew it. I've said it. It was dangerous to go here. Oh, uh, well. I might spook the unit. Yeah, but I cannot reach it. Sod it. 18th of August. Yeah, it is. Oh, I can still move on. Okay. Lucky that I tested it. So you go there. See from there. Oh, Muscovy is... Uh... Where are those Condottieri Kazan? I don't know if you folks know this, but Condottieri can attach to a stack. They can. Ooh. Uh oh. See, if you don't play on speed 2, you might see the miss the AI sandwiching you here. So it's 1836 38 versus. What does Denmark even have here? 19. 19, yeah, well. When will the first guy arrive? 20 August, 20 August. So when will I arrive? Oh, I see what you did there, AI. That'll reinforce the battle if you get movement lock. You get movement lock. I'll win. And he's getting movement locked, but and it's grasslands. Do I take a river crossing? Not even, oh wait, I'm already here. <laughs> I'm not even sure. So, you arrived 29th. You are, yeah, we should be able to win this, but... Oh, hi there, Kazan. Hi there. Yeah, be a good buddy and attach to me, please. Seven to three. Zero to zero. Six to five. Eight to two. <laughs> 82 and the, the Muscovites say, yeah, sod this. He's having too much luck. Where are you running now? Why do I make it look easy? Well, I hope you... T I hope you... T you, uh... Learn a thing or two about my micromanaging. Especially at the start, it's really worth doing. But it makes you win wars if you play like me. That's basically how I, uh... Wait, what? Wait, what? Don't tell me, Kazan. Oh. So Kazan gave me Kandatieri while they are at war with Uzbek. Hey, I please. I think the commentary arrangement will will get cancelled then. Oh! Oh! Yeah, please move into Vologda. Damn it, I shouldn't have moved in there. Who is doing? Can you... If you go and want to move up there... And he does... No! I think the AI is sentient and here's my thoughts here. Ah, please get movement locked. Please do. How oh, well, am I still gaining money with a loan out? I don't know, because I developed this province probably. I'm not getting subsidies, am I? Uh no. No subsidies. I'm making money. Good money, even. Huh. Taxation, yeah, it's probably taxation money from uh, developing. So, if you go movement locked. Ah, oh, come on! That was like one day away. He's a careful guy, he doesn't trust me. He says, yeah, this stack, I don't quite know. If I move up. 
Uh, how many attrition are these guys taking? Five? Yeah, I gotta move out. Oh, you, yeah. Saw this. I don't really need to fight. I don't really need to fight this time. Would have been nice to kill you. So you just spend all your points on the capital of your city? No. No, I did not. Why? Because uh, my capital city is uh, is an Arctic province. And Arctic provinces get uh, plus 50%. There you see it. Plus 50% to develop. Yeah, you gotta use the map mode, mode guys, when deciding where to develop. It's ideal if you got a clot province on farmlands. Clot provinces on farmlands are the best provinces to spawn uh, institutions in. If you move your capital there... So I developed this one because this is temperate climate and this is all arctic. So I can develop this one. I will likely uh, spawn colonialism here. Renaissance here, and yeah, God knows what else, somewhere else. It's worth noting, is there any Clot province near? Yeah, this would be the ideal capital for me. Clot gives like, uh, what is it again, 10% or 25% reduction to, uh, oh, I don't like you, but anyhow. And another trick you can do at the start is uh, giving everything to the nobility, then asking from your estate, for, uh, giving everything your, to your ability, grant and get them to uh, above 75 uh, influence, and then you go like, hey, give me the military power, that's 150 military power there. Doesn't matter for a nation like Perm, but if you do an, an independence war with Sweden, those 150 points will mean the difference between Tech 4 and Tech 3. And if Denmark is Tech 3 and you are Tech 4, yeah, well, you get the idea. There's some shenanigans you can do at the start of a game to give you an, ex an advantage. So, Kazan, how about... Oh, well. I don't like the look of these guys. Will you attach to me? No, he says. Got about this guy. Uh, yeah, this is too risky. In fact, I will attach to you. What will he, What are you up to? Oh, he's going for Novgorod. Yeah, great, man. You go, man. You go. And he even has the siege pip. Ha! I'll take him. Oh, okay, if you get... No, don't move out, Denmark. No, what are you even doing? Protecting me there. You don't need to protect me there. Now Muscovy can engage me here. If he gets... No, never mind. He twitched and he twitched. Oh, can I reach anything else? And these guys... Oh, this is my siege general, is it not? Yes. Shouldn't place this guy. Can I get another unit? 8 of 10. Yeah, maybe I should repay my loan first. Total debt of 26. Yeah, I'll repay those first. Now it's a stair game. As soon as... Uh, as the fort falls, we can engage this stat. But I'm likely gonna have to kill the stream soon because, yeah, real life and whatnot. We'll continue this tomorrow, rest assured. But yeah, I don't trust occupying all this. Let's go for the west. Because if they, if I occupy this, then he cannot, then he has to go around. I wanna do this first, before, uh... In fact, how about Livonian order? Well, it's still high. Where is the Livonian? Oh, there is the Livonian order. Huh. Now Denmark won't care if their vassal, if their subject gets uh, occupied. Maybe I should try and get Livonian order out first. 
Yeah, I need to occupy Muscovy first and foremost. Damn it. Discovered. Stair game all right. He might be going for my capital now, this guy. No. Wait, what? Why are you... No, don't do that. As plutocratic ideas, okay, yeah, they give, uh, they give uh, morale of armies and whatnot, and, and goods produced, which is one of the best economic modifiers you can get. So... <laughs> Do you have an interest? To work for this clinic. And now they are trying to wait to steal me away from my job. Oh, I don't want to work in your geriatric silly clinics. They are so desperate in Belgium. They are sending messages. How did you even get my bloody number? Should have checked who sent it. How are you going? Ostav, yeah. This fort falls. Yeah, but I, I cannot risk the siege. What is he doing? Vyatka? Yeah, split on up, Muscovy. Split on up? I don't care if you siege me up. I don't care. One bit. Um, I'm gonna test something here. The capital of the Livonian order is here. But Novgorod is in the way. So I can reach this. But I got... Wait, what? Isn't this connected? Oh, no, no, no. This is a vassal of Muscovy. Actually, I should... I should start thinking what I want from Muscovy. I could vassalize Scarf if I occupy their nation. Sounds like a plan. Let him claim Livonian order. Ah, oh. oh, damn it. Yeah, okay, I gotta, ch I gotta switch out. Yeah, I know. I switched the text to... Uh, I switched the text to orange color because it was interfering with Granada, white, and now with the uh, orange perm is it? Yeah, okay, should have seen that one coming. Now, uh, I'll, no, you know what, I'll change it right now. Uh, folks, I think I did everything that I need. Um, I repay a loan, maybe. Oh, I cannot do it yet. I will be at the tick of the month, so I'll I'll play until December and then uh <laughs> ah, that's my luck. I change it to orange and then I go, yeah. Let's play perm and uh, God forbid it's an orange nation. Well, yeah, Vanny, I'm leaving soon. Sorry. These are my normal streaming hours. I start at nine in the morning. Central European time, and I'll leave at uh, 17 Central European time. I gotta prepare for dinner and then go to uh, work usually. I'm still on sick leave, but I don't stream. I got a life, you know. <laughs> I'm already streaming like uh, 7 hours here. Yeah, I'll be going. So yeah, we pay alone. I'll be back tomorrow, don't... If you wanna follow, if you wanna get a notification when I start streaming, follow me on Twitch. You get a notification, yeah. Muscovy, yeah, but I really gotta go. Spy Network, 6th of February, I gotta remember this. Okay. 21 on the 4, 25, oh. What is this guy even doing here? Move up. Oh, is that Kazan? 
Kazan and uh, Denmark attached to one guy. Ha! I don't care if the AI takes attrition. Oh well. Ha! <laughs> they changed their mind. They are going back. Oh. Well, one more siege stick. I'll give it. Bye bye, old coot. Yeah, yeah. See you tomorrow, Birdman. Make sure you read your daily doses of fantasy books involving elves and dragons. Make sure you remember why you're called your, like you are. <laughs> I should. Yeah, I read fantasy books also, by the way, so I shouldn't. Uh... But not elves and dragons. I read more political thrillers and. Uh... Medieval settings like uh, what's the guy called from the series from uh, the Malazan Empire? Uh, I forgot. Chronicles of what's it called again? Oh, I forgot. Been too what? Uh, been too long. I'm gonna give it yeah the seed stick, but sad this. I really got the go guys. This is uh, the perm on very hard run. We are doing our. Uh, Independence War versus uh, Muscovy with the help of uh, these guys, Denmark, Sweden, Norway. It was just about, we were able to just about get 50 liberty desire because our overlord des decided to permanently placate us to not be able to declare independence. They saw this coming. AI yeah, is really smart now. They actually do placate you if you get 50% liberty desire. Uh, it worked out in the end. I want Musk fine, then I uh, won't well, see tomorrow. Did I save it already? But okay. See you folks tomorrow. I hope you like the stream. If so, follow me on Twitch and you'll get a notification when I restart tomorrow. Probably 9 in the morning, so uh, 3 a.m. Eastern and midnight Pacific. See you guys tomorrow. I am Atwix. Bye bye.